Salter Labs, a world leader in providing quality respiratory care products, has produced this short video to assist you in following your aerosol treatment plan. Your doctor has recommended taking your respiratory medication with a compressor nebulizer system that delivers aerosolized medications directly to your lungs for the most effective treatment possible. Your home health care supplier has chosen to provide you with a rugged Salter Air Plus compressor and Salter Labs highly efficient Nebutech high density small volume nebulizer. This video will show you how to use this highly effective system. The Salter Air Plus compressor provides air pressure to your nebulizer and turns the liquid medication in the nebulizer into a fine mist for you to breathe. The Salter Nebutec, a high density, small volume nebulizer kit, is packed with your Salter Air Compressor and is the unit that you should be using for maximum benefit from your medication. Preparing your compressor for use. To start, place your Salter Air Plus compressor on a hard flat surface such as a tabletop near to an electrical outlet. Make sure that the air vents on the bottom and back of the compressor are not blocked. Never set the compressor on a pillow or padded surface that could interfere with airflow to the unit. Uncoil the electrical cord attached to the rear of the compressor and plug it directly into an appropriate outlet. Never use an extension cord to supply power to your compressor. You should check the air filter on your compressor at least once per month. To do so, locate the filter cap on the front of the compressor. Insert a large coin into the slot on the filter cap. With the coin inserted into the slot, turn the coin and the filter cap counterclockwise approximately one half turn until the filter cap disengages from the front of the compressor. Remove the filter and the cap. Carefully inspect the filter looking for dirt or significant discoloration in the middle of the filter. If this is apparent Discard the old filter and replace it with one of the extra filters supplied with your compressor. If you don't have a supply of these, contact your home health care supplier to obtain additional filters. To replace a filter, place the new filter in the filter cap holder. Place the filter cap with the new filter into the opening on the front of the compressor. Now turn the filter cap clockwise with a large coin until the cap is tight. Preparing your Nebutech High Density Nebulizer for use. Remember to always wash your hands before setting up or using your nebulizer. The Salter Nebutech, a high density, small volume nebulizer kit, is packed with your Salter air compressor and is the unit that you should be using for maximum benefit from your medication. The handheld nebulizer uses air from the compressor to turn the liquid medication that your doctor prescribed into a very fine mist that you can breathe. To set up your Nebutech high density nebulizer, first open the plastic bag containing your nebulizer kit and identify the contents. The kit should include a handheld nebulizer that holds the medication during the treatment and turns it into a fine mist and a mouthpiece through which you inhale the aerosolized medication. The Nebutech high density nebulizer has several components designed to increase the efficiency of the unit. These include a medication cup that holds the liquid medication during your treatment, a small green cone is an integral part of the medication cup that ensures efficient dispersion of your medication. A flow through chamber that acts as a reservoir to store aerosolized medication during exhalation 
and has it ready for immediate use when you begin to inhale and a removable cap that acts as an inspiratory valve. This cap can be removed for cleaning or to attach nebulization accessories such as an aerosol mask. This uniquely designed Nebutech mouthpiece is used to deliver the medication mist through your mouth and into your lungs. This mouthpiece has a built-in one-way exhalation valve to further reduce medication loss. This valve can be removed for cleaning. Included in your nebulizer kit is a 7-foot supply tube that is used to connect your nebulizer to the compressor. To begin setting up your nebulizer, pick up the handheld nebulizer unit with one hand, grasping the clear bottom section of the unit. With your other hand, grasp the top flow-through chamber, or the opaque part of the nebulizer unit, and then rotate the top in a counterclockwise direction. The top will disengage from the bottom. Set the top aside. Make sure that the green funnel shaped cone is securely in place in the bottom of the nebulizer unit with the small end of the cone facing up. Hold the bottom of the nebulizer or medication cup in one hand. With your other hand add your medication as directed by your healthcare provider into the cup along the side of the green cone. Try to add the medication along the inside of the cup to prevent it from going down the hole in the center of the green cone. Now replace the top of the nebulizer to the medication cup and then rotate the top in a clockwise direction. The top will engage the medication cup. Continue by attaching one end of the air supply tube to the green nipple outlet on the front of the compressor. Both ends of this tube are the same. With the nebulizer filled and resting in the compressor docking station, attach the other end of the air supply tube to the nipple outlet on the bottom of the nebulizer cup. Make sure that the cap or inlet valve is securely in place on the top of the unit. With your other hand, insert the nebulizer mouthpiece into the round outlet on the front of the nebulizer's holding chamber. The inlet valve on the mouthpiece should face up. To turn your compressor on, press the rocker switch on the front of the unit. After a few moments, your compressor and nebulizer will be delivering a fine mist which you will inhale to get the medication directly into your lungs. If you are using the mouthpiece for your treatment, place the mouthpiece between your teeth and close your mouth and inhale deeply. Hold your breath for several seconds and exhale slowly. Continue this until there is no liquid remaining in the medication cup. Breathe through your mouth, not your nose. This will get the medication deep into your lungs where it can do the most good. Take two or three slow, deep breaths between normal breaths. Continue this until there is no liquid remaining in the medication cup. If you must stop your treatment before all the medication in the nebulizer is depleted, simply turn off your compressor and return the nebulizer to the docking station on the front of the unit. Usually, a treatment will last from 6 to 8 minutes. When the treatment is finished, the mist will stop. It might be helpful to tap on the side of the medication cup once or twice to ensure that all of the medication is utilized. Using your Nebutech nebulizer with an aerosol mask. Both adult and pediatric style Salter aerosol delivery masks are available separately from your healthcare supplier. With small children, an adult should always supervise the setup and use of the compressor and the nebulizer. If you will be using either an adult or pediatric aerosol mask for your treatment, assemble, fill your nebulizer, and connect it to the compressor as previously discussed. 
Next, remove the cap from the top of the opaque flow-through chamber. Insert this cap into the outlet that protrudes at a 45 degree angle from the front of the opaque chamber. Then, connect the mask to the nebulizer by sliding the inlet port on the mask into the outlet on the top of the nebulizer. Your nebulizer mask assembly is now ready for use. Simply turn on your compressor. After a few moments, your compressor and nebulizer will be delivering a fine mist which you will inhale to get the medication deeply into your lungs. When using a mask for treatments, you can hold it up to your face with one hand, placing it securely over your nose and mouth, and inhale deeply. Hold your breath for several seconds and exhale slowly. Continue this until there is no liquid remaining in the medication cup. All Salter aerosol masks have a strap which you can place over and behind your head to hold the mask and nebulizer in place during your treatment. As long as the medication cup is upright, you can use your Salter nebulizer in virtually any position, even in Grandpa's favorite recliner. Cleaning your Nebutech nebulizer between treatments. Your nebulizer must be cleaned between treatments. To do so, disassemble all the parts. Do not wash or rinse the supplied tubing. After taking your nebulizer apart, wash all of the parts in warm, soapy water. Rinse the parts in clear water and ensure that all soap residue is removed. Air dry the parts on a paper towel. If your home care provider supplied you with a number 8660 Nebutech reusable nebulizer, you may also wash that nebulizer's parts on the top rack of your dishwasher. Do not clean the parts of any other nebulizers in your dishwasher. In addition to cleaning your nebulizer between treatments, you should disinfect your nebulizer every other treatment day to prevent any chance of infection. So, to do so, first, clean and dry your nebulizer as previously shown. Then, with your unit still disassembled, you can use one of three methods to disinfect it. One, you can soak all of the parts, with the exception of the supply tubing, in a solution of one part white vinegar to three parts hot tap water. Second, if you are using a Salter number 8660 reusable Nebutech nebulizer, you can boil all of the parts with the exception of the supply tubing in water for a full 10 minutes or if your home care provider recommends using a commercial respiratory equipment disinfectant you can do so according to your providers instructions after disinfecting the parts air dry or hand dry them with a lint free cloth reassemble your nebulizer as previously shown so that it is ready for your next treatment we hope this presentation helped explain how to follow your aerosol treatment plan and properly use your Salter Air Plus compressor and nebulizer. If you have any further questions, please speak with your physician or healthcare supplier.